National headlines, Michael Cohen is back on the stand today in Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial. The former Trump lawyer and fixer could face intense questioning from the former president's attorneys in cross-examination. Cohen links Trump to all aspects of the hush money scheme to suppress stories about sex amid his 2016 presidential campaign. Trump denies all the accusations and complains that he can't speak about the trial because of the gag order he's under. The gag order has to come off. So when you ask me a question about the people that we're talking about, I'm not allowed to answer. There's never been anything like this in the history of our country. It's a scam. Meantime, a New York appeals court upholds the gag order that bars Trump from talking about certain people involved in his criminal hush money trial. The court sides with the judge as saying he properly determined the former president's public statements, quote, posed a significant threat to the integrity of the testimony of witnesses and potential witnesses. Trump has violated the order several times already, paying thousands in fines. He claims the order violates his constitutional rights. Allies of former President Donald Trump in Congress are starting to speak out at the trial. House Speaker Mike Johnson and Senators J.D. Vance and Tommy Tumberville are among the GOP supporters showing up to the Manhattan courtroom this week. Some of Trump's vice president contenders are also at the trial, including North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum and former GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Since Trump can't speak about the witnesses and jurors in the trial, his loyalists are doing it for him, slamming his former attorney Michael Cohen. This is a man who is clearly on a mission for personal revenge and who is widely known as a witness who has trouble with the truth. They have placed a ridiculous and unprecedented gag order on President Trump. They were overriding his constitutional right to defend himself from political smears from his harshest critics at the most important time. Prosecutors argue Trump's public insults of people can result in violence and harassment.